Hello, everyone. What is a actually best bed configuration inside a 2008 Toyota Sienna? Let's find out. Through many trial and error attempt to build a bed frame inside a minivan, I finally think this would be the best one that I come up with. All right, let's check it out. Well, as much as I like to keep this uh, middle row seat, you know, for carrying passenger, but uh, it takes up space in here. So it has to go in order for this configuration to work. All right. Now that the seat is removed, you can see there's ample of room here. Oh, by the way, on the side, you already have a sneak peek what is coming. But this is where the fridge will be. And... I might have to do something else with my uh, chuck buck, but we're not here for that today. We're here to talk about how I'm going to make a new bed configuration for this uh, vehicle that will enable me to sleep comfortable and still retain sitting for five people if I need to carry people. And all I have to do is move this platform platform sideways and I'll be able to carry five people comfortably and how can I accomplish that let me swing it all actually before right now this is actually two-thirds of my uh, previous bed that I use if you haven't seen that configuration I will put a link up here for that video you know and you actually understand where this come from. So I will show you a clip of what I was attempting to do. And then I just, it just dawned on me. I actually don't have to do anything. All I have to do is throw, I have three pieces of uh, uh, two, two by two, two feet by two feet foam, six inch foam. And two of them will fit in this area. So let me show you. Before we do that, let's do some measurement. What's uh, the actual measurement for this uh, platform here? I know for sure from here to here is two feet, but I'm not quite sure what how long this is. As you can see, there's still a little bit of gap there, a little bit of gap there. So if you were to build a platform for this to work, you can make it a little bit uh, wider, I mean longer if needed to. Or if you're going to use a 30 inch uh, foam width instead of 24 inch, then you just build a platform a little bit wider. But uh, since I'm comfortable with 24 inch width uh, bat, I'm not going to, you know, why why fix it? If it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? So let, let me show you what the foam look like once it's put it in. So I did have to move this seat forward a little bit. As you can see, you still can sit in the front seat. And the two pieces of uh, 24 inch by 24 inch foam mattress will fit in here. So that's that's a total of 48 inches. And then I'm used part of the seat uh, become part of the bed. So that could be the end of the, where my head going to be. Or I just put my head on this side. And it's pretty easy. If you're going to fill it up with... Uh, Something like towel or some extra cushion, whatever, to be your head side over there to sleep. So more than likely, I'm going to use that as my uh, the end of my feet. So let's take a look. I do a little bit of measurement. And the bed is oh, about 40 inches. So actually, you can actually build this bed from about 40 Four, I say about 44 inches long if you need to. 
it, so that way it will support in the front here. But you know, it's it's doable sleeping like this. So why fix it, right? And it will stay here. And back here, as you can see, there's enough seat for three people back here with this bed from out of the way. So what's cool is you can actually sit over here and lounging over here during daytime. Some of you might wonder why it's a good idea to have this bed on this side. Because if somebody rear end you, most likely it's going to be on this side, right? So you want to be on that side. If something happened to you, somebody rear end you, you're on this side. And they will, the crush is going to be on this side. So more, the frisk will be here. So let's move this bed. Let's say if I need to carry five pe uh, a total of five people with a vehicle and still retain my bed in here. And you can see under here is all my storage for the clothing that I had before. Yeah, check on the video that I had on my previous build. And then you will know what would go out down in here. And guess what we have back here? Plenty of storage back here. So the plan for me, see right here is my... Uh, Portable bed system with a, a cell inflated foam. I was I will also put you a link to that. Uh, you know how it looked like. Yeah, and posters. So if I want to, I can build a flat platform up here to fill it up to about here. Then I, if all my storage will be hidden under. So more to come on how I'm gonna use this area. Tons of storage here. This will be, I will call my garage back here that I can store all sorts of stuff back here. That, you know, once, because these seat, when you fold it into this uh, well, then you lose all that storage. That's why I am gonna go with this setup here. Right now, it doesn't look like a bed yet, but if you fill it up with something here and become flat, that's uh I'm five feet eight and I will be comfortable in here in the future when I actually finish the whole bill in here then uh I will give you a, a little tour of uh, how it looked like so there it is this is the bed bill that I will have in this vehicle from now on for traveling and still retaining seating for five people. One, two, three, four, five. With sit belt and all. Oh, hold on, let me uh, change it back to the way that I will be able to do that. Yep, I just moved the platform sideways toward the front and look how much Lego I still have over here. Just for reference, see how much Lego I have. Can even even reach out that far, so you can sit comfortable with with uh, three people back here. And you know, if in the pinch, you actually can sit over here too. A couple people illegally, <laughs> so you actually can sit seven people. Five will be legal, and the other two will be illegal to sit at, in a pinch. You know. There you have it. This is my new uh, bed bill. For this vehicle, simple. You can build this this platform in. Uh, I would say about a couple hours, easily. So the beautiful thing about this uh, bed platform here is it can stay in here as a passenger uh, storage mode and passenger mode. And actually, I can put the foam down and keep the bed on this side. If I want to, but I don't want to compress the the foam, so that way it will lose its uh, firmness. So I leave it like this. And right now I still can have one, two, three, eh, kind of four, and then five people sitting in here in this configuration. Probably six. See in the middle. You can sit like this in the middle, so really cramped, so 
five is very comfortable with, with this uh, setup right here. So the bed is always staying here. So if I'm on the road, I can always just uh, sleep on this side if I needed to. All right. Yeah, I really like this setup. It's actually an L shape. If you look at it, the seat back here is width and then the length. So that's an L shape configuration is the best setup. That's for one person comfortably. But if there is two person, I can either put in another platform in here for two person or just put a, another piece like this. Like I said, I have that edge right here. See the edge? That edge over there, let me see. I can't even see it from here. No. See the edge, see that edge? That will hold. So if, if there is plan for two people in here, I will, uh, I actually can make a platform easily in less than half hour if I needed to. All right, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye.